You know, before the you told me you felt like your back was kind of up against the wall. So how good did it feel to go out there and get that one? Oh, it feels great, man. Um, like, like I said, like winning was the game plan this time. You know, I had two tough fights these last two, so I, I had to get a win. And it seemed like uh, in some of those exchanges, you guys were really letting your hands go, and then you'd resort back to the takedown. Was that kind of the game plan coming in? or The, the game plan was always wrestling. Um, I felt comfortable on my feet, but I, I knew I'd be able to slow him down. I knew he didn't have the, the endurance that I had. So I wanted uh, I mean, and, and he ended up engaging the wrestling in the first round, which honestly surprised me. Um, but into that second round, it was, you know, I could already see the decline on his end. And you got some of the biggest pops of the night from the fans. I think they really liked those exchanges. Did that, yeah. as fighting in front of the, like, fighting in an empty arena your last couple fights, did that throw you off at all uh, to kind of hear that? I, I, I've said it a couple times now. I, I thought I'd like it, but fans is, it's way better. That was, that was pretty cool, uh, exiting the cage and hearing a bunch of people yelling for me. That was a pretty cool experience. For sure, man. And where do you go? Where do you go from here? What do you think's next? I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to stay ready like I have been. And, and like I said out there, I'm, I'm not gunning for anybody. I'm not running from anybody. So, you know, just give, give me, give me a name and I'll be, I'll be ready to go. We talked about this on Wednesday, Mark. Congratulations on the win, first of all. Hey, thank you. You were part of the card that got canceled three hours before the show, and then you came back on the first event with fans. And it was the first time you really got a chance to think about it. Did you get a chance to kind of think about it a little more? Is it a little more surreal thinking about it now? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, to be honest, you know, that, that was would have been my first fight with Bellator. And since then, it's just been a fight after fight. Uh, pandemic going on all i've been i've been in kind of a, a tunnel vision just training and getting ready for fights so yeah it is nice to sit here now kind of look back at all of it and kind of absorb it you know soak it in a little bit and uh like you just said your back was against the wall you knew it but you said you were going to thrive on that pressure you said you wanted it it made you feel a little bit better heading in did, did it kind of live up to the expectations the pressure and the result sort of equating into how everything played out tonight? well i mean you you, you watched the fight uh from you know the opening bell I, I was moving forward you know i i just i was determined uh to get my hand raised and i i feel i accomplished that all right, we'll take a couple more from the media joining us virtually tonight. Jeff, your line is now live. Jeff Brantley from the Man in the Cage podcast. Mark, even after two losses, you came into this fight. You seemed confident this week. You looked confident in the cage. Is that because of just the own self-belief in yourself? Is that what allowed you to keep moving forward to get this victory? Or was it your team? Was it a, a number of different things for you? It's a number of things. You know, it's I've gone through shit in my life. You just it, it, you move forward. I'm not going to dwell on on losses. I'm just going to I'm going to do what do what I can to uh, correct my mistakes and not let that happen in the future. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. All right, last one here, Dylan. Hey there, Mark. I'm just kind of wondering your thoughts on the fact that you know chosen few Jim went two and zero tonight. I'm kind of wondering, did seeing teammate Alex Polizzi kind of compound the motivation further as he got in the Bellator cage? And just how are you feeling about the gym going two and zero tonight? I, I think uh, I think we did our gym proud. Um, I, I, I watched um, Alex's fight up in the hotel room, and uh, I, I could have told you that was going to happen. The guy's a monster. Um, I'm I'm probably his main training partner, and uh, I, the, the guy every day I come home with a different bruise or oh, sore muscle from that guy. He's a he's a savage. All right, thanks for the time, Mark. Congrats on the win. Yeah, thank you guys.